going to look at extruding logos in Cinema 4D right now, and it's pretty straightforward. And once we get done with this, you're going to see it's pretty easy. And this technique will work for most any logo that you need to extrude. Uh, being at NHL playoff season, we're going to take a look at the Vegas Golden Knights logo. We'll work from there. So the first thing I like to do when I'm going to extrude a logo is I work in Illustrator. I get the logo in Illustrator here and I start bringing it, breaking it out into layers. So I have my group kind of all laid out here. So I'm going to go out and I like to break it out based on color. I'll show you why we do this later. So basically here I'm going to grab my wheat, I'm going to make a, or my gold I guess, we're going to make a new layer. I drag that in there, but now when I rename the layer, I want to find out what color that is. And so I'm going to take the RGB values, 180, 151, and 90. And I'm going to name it gold, 180, 151, and 90. And I can just turn that off and do the next bit here. So it looks like, what's our next color? Be black. Let's make a new layer. I'm going to find all the black parts. And you can kind of turn them off as you go to make sure to see if you missed any in here. So it looks like I've got the trademark is black. We could probably put that in there for them. Those always kind of look kind of goofy, but they're trademarked. So we're going to want that in there. And then we're going to find this little piece here, this guy. And then I'm just going to call this black. And then these guys are more of a silver. And same thing, find out what the RGB value is, 51 63, 66, so I'll call it silver, 51, 63, 51, 63, 66. I can turn it off, and then the rest are going to be white. So I'm just going to grab all the paths here. So now that I have that saved, I've got nothing left in there. I can trash that. So now what we have to do is save, and I like to save it as Illustrator 8. Now when it saves, you come over here to Cinema, and you want to use a free ArtSmart plugin from Cineversity. ArtSmart import, find our logo, our Illustrator file that we saved, hit open. It's going to bring it in here with our different layers, all nice and neat. I'm just going to go ahead and readjust my center point here so we can take a look at it. So now I have all of my pads in here and I also know now gold 180, 150, 190. So when we start texturing this, I'll know the color that needs to be. So now this is just a matter of extruding. Grab an extrude and grab the path. You can either grab the path or just grab the whole uh, group that goes with it. And just make sure you hit hierarchical on extrude. And that's going to go ahead and extrude it. So then you can rename this gold. And then when we make our material down here, grab the RGB value of 180, 151, 90. That's going to give us a nice match. Uh, you can start with reflectance off, um, or you can just sort of hit it with just a little bit of specular, um, however you want to really start, when you really start texturing this, to really make it unique. Uh, we can go through later. We'll add some caps on it, but for now, let's just get this all extruded. So we've got our black here. Make that black. And just kill the specular a little bit. And then here, you can see how it's just they're right on top of each other. So we can do this in a couple ways. We can lower the amount that it's extruded, and then move it in Z space up. Oh, that. And we can go back and start playing with the different paths of things. Move this up, extrude that out a little bit more, bring it back in. Just all, however you want this logo to end up looking at the end of the day. It's kind of all you have to do with it. And th this technique works for every every logo that you want to extrude. So here's the same one here. Let's grab the silver. Oh, we can call that black. Grab the silver. 
Same kind of thing. Put our texture on here. We got 51, 63, 66. Get your reflectance down. Now it's starting to really come together. And then our last one was the white. Same thing, hierarchical, because there's technically more pads underneath here. And we can see here that the white was kind of everywhere. So we're going to kind of pull these pads apart after we get it on there. I'll show you what that looks like here. So I just got to throw white on there. Now we can kind of turn off all these other layers and see what we got going on with these different pads. So we got this guy here. That's the back of the shield. We got this guy here. Is this? These parts here are all the texture of it. So pulling that stuff apart in Z space. And now you can kind of see what we got going on there. We can call it, we can name these back white, so then you can see how it kind of fits over top. Here, these three pads here. You want to move them all at once. An easy way to do it is just to make a null and group them inside the null, keeping it under the texture. And then and we can make this a separate group, but for now, placing them in there. That's pretty basic. Pretty quick extrusion. Nothing too fancy about that at all. Uh, now is where you can get into putting different caps on it and lighting and everything else. And we can do that in our next video.